Okay, hello, my name is Yirai, and today I'm going to talk about what my workflow is for importing images into iOS. Because I stopped using Lightroom CC, I stopped paying the subscription because I realized that Photoshop Express is now free, offers pretty good things, and I'm paying for iCloud. And most of my pictures are taken with my iPhone because I'm taking my iPhone everywhere, just like most people, I suppose. So, <clears throat> first of all, I took all my pictures with my other Sony camera, but for the effect, uh, I'm going to use or take my cart out of my 6500. First thing that I usually do, I've got a Synology DSM. I take the cart, I plug it in, I've got a workflow that copies all my pictures automatically. It imports them into my Synology and once completed, I get an email and that's done. So I've got my first copy, just in case. And then I import them into my iPad. Because I don't want to be here till tomorrow and my iPad is full, I'm only going to import a handful of them Okay, so this is uh, from the event called 12 Hour Bathurst, which is 12 hours GT3, GT4 cars. It's a spectacular race in Bathurst, Australia on Mount Panorama. If you get a chance and if you like cars, definitely go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna select a few images here for the effect about 300. 110, come on, okay, it's 150, easy, so I'm going to import them, under normal circumstances you would usually import all of them depending on the size of your iPad and the size of your card, this is 128, I've got 228 gig cards because um, my A7 three has two slots and I pretty much filled one and a half of them. I shoot raw and I took about 5,000 pictures. It's, it's ridiculous, I know, but you know, with sport, it's hard. It was my first time. I didn't know what I was doing, so I was playing with it quite a bit, but I took some really good shots. Um, I'll show you some on the screen right now. Shots. Uh, so. A few have worked out, and it would be bad if a if, uh, few out of 5,000 wouldn't. So I'm very proud I actually printed one of them. Okay, okay, the import has completed. So we can safely remove this. It's already uploading into iCloud, but it'll, it'll take quite a fair amount of time because they are raw images. Okay, so let's go into the album. And you've got last imported right here. So these are the last imports. It's good that it is here uh, because it saves you trouble of finding where exactly the images are in case you took another ones with your uh, with your iPhone stuff like that. So we'll select. option okay and we'll add it into the album straight away so I'll create a new album called Bathurst second thing that you should do before you begin is if you have anything in your favorites then remove it so my favorites are currently empty and whatever I have as important as my um, for my previous imports and stuff like that, I've created a new album called My Favorites so I don't have to muck around. Okay, so after you import, after you select your images and create an album, then you go back to your images and then you look through them. And then you go, okay, um, this is probably not very sharp. This is a bit better. 
This could be good. So I'll mark it. You have to call images because you're gonna have a lot. So this is great with the background, but the car is not very sharp. I'm not gonna tag it. This is a bit sharper. This is better. This is not very sharp. This could be good. This is pretty all right. So you're essentially picking the best. It's like flag them in in uh, in Lightroom, right? Lamborghini okay this is a very nice shot very sharp this is very early in the morning so the ISO was quite high about 6400 no actually this is less this is not very good this is a bit blurry so I'll probably just get rid of it straight away yes was one very loud Mustang anyway I'm not gonna bore you with it these are very similar so I'll go through them this is excellent shot love it you go you pick what you want oh this is so bad eh? and you can actually look through if, if there is shots that you know you have missed but this is not that obvious, but for example, this, this is very on the edge, not the whole car. This is too far. This I have to look closer. This, I don't know what's wrong with that. But you have a look, you get the idea. First of all, you call images that you don't want. They are really bad, like either you missed the shot, they are not sharp pretty much any any sort of problems then you pick the best and you mark them as your favorites once they are in your favorites then you go into your favorites and now you can start editing you can actually run through a round number two so if you have one car or one shot or multiple shots of the same thing then you go, okay, this one or this one. And then you remove one of them. Like, okay, I like the Mount Panorama. I think it makes a nice background. If I crop it, I would probably crop it like this. It'll be very nice. So I don't want this one because it's harder to do. So I'll remove this one. Same with this guy. Oh, these, these are different cars. I don't like this Porsche. It's not the winning Porsche. Winning Porsche was 912 number. This is 911. Um, but the 888 is brilliant. Anyway, and the reason why I'm putting in the favorites because as I mentioned at the beginning, I really like using Photoshop Express. So I'll go into Photoshop Express. <clears throat> and Photoshop Express, I don't really know how it works and how it picks like your images because boy it's all messed up for me so that's why I like using favorites and I'll go into my albums and I'll go into my favorites and I know which one I'm editing so currently let's say I want to edit this of course then I want to edit the original so look at it so much better I obviously crop it. Beautiful. I'll keep a bit of that third. Then I'll use my optics. Light, it was really early in the morning, so it was a bit dark, so I'm not going to expose it too much. Shadows bring it black of blacks temperature it's hot in bathroom so let's put a bit of bit of warmth even though it was still in the morning bit of saturation now note the haze clarity of course bit of sharpness and now the sharpening fantastic and let's reduce color noise 
Wonderful. That smoothed it out. Wow. Fantastic, eh? So this is now. Um, this is what it was before. Beautiful, right? Fantastic image. Love it. So now I save it. I don't want any thing and I want the biggest quality 100%. So I'll save it as a JPEG. So now it's saved as a JPEG, but it's obviously not in my favorite. So I have to go into my cameras and it will be tagged with the same same time. So I'll see a double image and you'll see it stand out because of the edit. First of all, you're going to have it highlighted with the with the favorite heart and then next to it you'll see like it's so different like you will not miss it so you can create a new album called batters 2 and then you get rid of this one and you're only gonna have the, the first one so. so that's the new album So you're going to have all the non-edited in your um, in your favorites that you you will remove and use for the next import but all the ones that you have edited will be in your new album here so that's the idea that if you want to present your images to someone you don't want to show them an album that has thousands of images and you're going to have to look for what are your best shots. You just want to go and go like, this is from my clown at Kilimanjaro. We took, um, I took fair amount of, of pictures, but I had to call it and it's only 118 images. And I think I did fairly well. I could probably call a bit more, but I really like those images and I don't show people everything, I don't show them videos, but you know, you want to show them the journey, the road, the people you were with, the your guide and how the environment and how, e I'm pretty sure you get the idea and, and, uh, and you know what I'm talking about, but certainly what you don't want is like I've got here in my, in my import, like I've got pictures of the same car one two three four five six seven you know my camera can do very very quick bursts um, yours probably too iPhone can go crazy but look at this sharpness it's beautiful love it so you can take lots of pictures but people don't care people you don't you don't care you don't want to go next time mm, which one did I like which one do I want to post on Facebook or Instagram or show my friends? You want to go, this one is the best. This one, that's the one I'm going to edit. I love this image. And that's the one I'm going to show my friends that are interested in, in this sort of thing. So that's that's what you, that, that's how I do it. And and you can use it for, for any event. You can use it for vacation, as I showed you with my Kilimanjaro album, Morton Island, Shenzhen, Samoa, pretty much any any event you can do this with. And when you are on the road, it's fantastic. On the road, it's, it's harder to remove your images, but if you are running out of space and you don't have any backups, sometimes that's what you have to do, but only remove the images that you are certain, like are completely ruined, like they are out of, like completely out of everything so like unsharp or you missed the shot or you you took a picture of of your foot or or of the ground because you thought you were or you were thinking you so you were taking a movie stuff like that you just don't want repeat so that's the idea but let me recap number one you take a backup of your images synology computer onedrive whatever that is second you import them into your iOS, then you put them all in an album. From that album, you start removing the really bad ones, removing, removing, and then you start with the heart, you start tagging the best ones. 
once you've got the hearts in your favorites then you go have a look at another have a have another look if there is further ones that you can remove then you remove them you un un unhard them and then you start editing them the ones that you actually like and you want to keep once edited you find them in your photos and you insert them in the album it can be a pain in the bum but I don't think there's any better way of, of using iOS any better at this stage. I would like them to have more options for tagging instead of just heart, like one, two, three, four, five, or colors like they have in their file system. I think that would be really helpful, but this is what it is for now. And that's the best I was able to come up with. So um, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. And let me know if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye-bye.